We could probably bring you some more Detroit Tigers franchise mode here in MLB The Show 18 today. We will be wrapping up the month of August. This is obviously the August review episode. We have about a week and a half left in the month. And then next episode, quickly I'll just say that next episode will be September call-up. So we'll have to simulate probably like this first week or so and then see where our double and triple a teams are at in terms of playoffs we'll call up some prospects for september at least for the rest of the regular season as you can see right here we are 88 and 39 in the american league central we are 24 games up on the twins who are just hovering above 500 at 64 and 63 then you have the royals white Sox, and indians we are first in nearly every category except for pitching which is third and speed which is 18th but that's been slowly getting better we're gonna check there is something with that I wanted to see now we're gonna go to roster I think no um, we'll go over the lineups quickly Mookie Betts newest acquisition of course he is batting to 78 15 home runs 51 RBIs out of the leadoff spot, Colby Rasmus has been cooling off to 67. And we have Derek Hill on the bench. We might, uh, we might swap Rasmus with Hill if that continues to be a trend there with Rasmus. So we have Miggy, 324, 22, and 81. Anthony Rizzo, 333, 28, and 93. Aaron Judge, 273, 25, and 84. Dixon Machado, 225, 10, and 43. 292, 13, and 58 for Steven Piscotti. Grayson Grenier since being called up to replace Peter O'Brien is yet to get a hit in 12 at-bats. Glacius, 276, 3 home runs, and 36 RBIs. Derek Hills, 270, 10 home runs off the bench. Brian Batista, 5 home runs, 16 RBIs, at a 238 average. Danny Santana, 3. 45, one home run, and five RBIs. And then Cespedes is struggling, 11, 48, and 230 average rotation. We have David Price, 19 and 5, 263 ERA, doing very well, close to another 21 season. I believe that would be his fourth in a row. Then you have Tehran, 13 and 5, 322. Verlander, 15 and 3, 326. 11 and 10, 353 for Robert Stevenson. Not the best of seasons, but he's been doing a little bit better of late. And then you have Jake, Jacob DeGrom, 11 and 5, 398. A little inflated ERA for him, but he's still doing all right. 402 ERA for Iglesias out of the bullpen. He's still not happy about being in the bullpen, but you never know. Maybe come next season, he'll be in the rotation. Then there's Dominic Leone, 417, 35 strikeouts. Ken Giles, a 407 average. Again, a little bit inflated areas in the bullpen. Now the big surprise of the pitching staff in terms of bullpen arms is Mike Seacrest, 186, ERA, 41 strikeouts in 53 and a third innings. Darren O'Day, 295, and Kevin Seacrest. 214 and Kelvin Herrera being Kelvin Herrera 211 ERA 44 strikeouts and 47 innings pitched so team pretty much doing the same that they've been at all year everyone's morale is alright for the most part Iglesias is not happy with his current role and how he's been performing lately but he'll be okay I think we are going to simulate this series against the White Sox. Already the Wookiee is going to be day to day, but it'll be fine. 2 1 game. We got a 1 run lead against the White Sox, and we hold on. Brian Mitchell out for a few days. That's okay. Okay, let's see another one. White Sox end up taking that game. That's alright. Another close game, and White Sox take that. Let's see if we could. Split the series, and we do. So 
Let me simulate some more. Brian Mitchell is no longer injured. Neither neither is Artie Lewicki. So two games set against Kansas City. We take that first game. We're up eight nothing in this one. Fairlander looking for a shutout. We went eight to three. So to round out the month. Oh wait, no, we still have a couple more days. So first two games against New York. We won the first one seven to three. We take that one three to two. Come from behind victory there for us. Down five nothing against Tanaka. We lose that one five to one. Final game against the Yankees here. We won that three to one. Let's check our inbox really fast. Player called up for okay. Can we call up people yet? Let's actually see before we go any further with simulating. Okay, so that's gonna be the last day for the regular season in double and triple A. We'll see here in a second. Actually might save that for next video. We'll see how minor league teams are doing right now. Joey Van 272, 7 home runs, 37 RBIs. Our old Mondesi, we picked him up in a trade during the season. 283, 5 home runs, 36 RBIs. Randy Edwards, 299 and 58. Greg Bird, bit of a struggle of a season for him. I believe he was injured for a little bit of it. 243, 24 and 87. Colin Moran, 241, 14 and 68. He's dropped off average wise since when or since we did that um, prospect overview with him a while back. 254, 9 and 25 for Rob Ref Schneider. Striker, Trey Han, 185, really struggling. 8 and 25. Daniel Fields, 255. And Javier Bet in court, 279, 5 and 26. The bench is here. They're doing all right. So pitching staff. Kyle Ryan, 15 and 4. Binford, 15 and 8. Gaskins, 9 and 10. Struggling a bit. That has a bit of an inflated ERA as well. Top pitching prospect in the organization. Brian Mitchell, 278, 13 and 4. So pitching rotation in AAA doing very well overall. Sherman Metz, doing good. Kevin, doing all right. And everyone else doing fine. And Joe Jimenez realizes before recording, he's up to an 80 overall already. So we will definitely see him in the September call-ups bunch. And I believe he might crack the big league club next season if he keeps progressing like that. So we're going to move to double A, check that stuff out, and then we'll wrap it up. So 279 for John Machado, 10 and 59, David Cordero 273, 342 for Terry Rudolph. He's been tearing the cover off the ball. Look at those uh, contact numbers. Absolutely crazy. I believe we signed him during the offseason a couple years ago. So that was definitely a good pickup for us. Donnie Glover, 315, 27 and 93. Craig Taylor, 261, 342 for Raul Vasquez. Again, AA squad is raking as well. For the most part. And rotation. Nishi 16 and 6, 352. William Manuel 10 and 6. 7 and 8 for Garrett Faust. Andy Doyle 2 and 0. 28 innings. And we have Artie Loki 11 and 4, 390 ERA. Okay, everyone. Okay. Sean Michaels 7 C. Okay, he's been the most struggling person in the pitching organization, or in the organization in terms of pitchers. And bullpen doing not too good, not too bad. They're just kind of right there in the middle of the pack. So I think we can simulate a day and then not mess up anything. All right, so the Mud Hens won their division. All right, that's good. So they'll have some playoff games. And so did the Seawolves, 85 and 55. Minor league playoffs are about to begin. We have 40, Jesus, 41 notifications there. Other so teams calling up players already. I think we won't be able to do that until our 
double and triple A teams get eliminated. We're gonna wrap it up here in a second. Just clear. Okay, we don't need to see those. But all right, now we'll end the video. If you guys enjoyed another episode of Detroit Tigers franchise mode, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we will see everybody next time.